If you like reading and you hate Hillary Clinton, boy, is there a book for you. Clinton Cash is 186 pages of information about foreign donations to the Clinton Foundation by Peter Schweitzer, a Republican speechwriter to George W. Bush and fellow at the Hoover Institution. What raises flags on this one is that the New York Times preview of the book suggested that some news outlets, the Times itself, the Washington Post, and Fox News, had agreements with the author to follow up on his reporting. Today, all three outlets issued statements clarifying uh, their position on that matter. We'll talk about that in a second. And up in New Hampshire, Hillary was asked about the book and other allegations. And when she was asked about it, she called it a big distraction up there in New Hampshire. Mark, my question for you, uh, this whole thing, there's a lot to say about this, but let's start just at the top. What do you think this story, the book, and how it all comes about, there says about Hillary as a target and the news media? No, no, there's nobody who'll be targeted like she is for a variety of reasons. There's going to be an iron triangle between the so-called mainstream media, conservatives who pr produce books and movies and other opposition research, and then Republican operatives. So what you're going to have is you're going to have these books and movies produced and sort of teased out. You have the mainstream press writing about them, then Republican operatives taking that writing and recycling it back in. It's very dangerous for her. Un incredibly unorthodox to have in one level these organizations right. working this way, but another level not at all. Not at all. I mean, look. I mean, if you look at the statements, we have the three statements here from the Washington Post, the New York Times, uh, and Michael Clemente at Fox News. All of them seem to basically be saying, we had no special arrangement to pursue anything. What we had advanced was copies. we had advanced copies of the book, and we decided that if we were going to write about the book, we were going to go do independent reporting. We both know that that's something that a lot of news organizations do for advanced copies of books on all metro, on all, on all dimensions. But it is true that there is, because of the fact this guy is a, an apparently kind of partisan author, the idea, the, the optics of the New York Times happily taking a a partisan book, again, a guy with partisan credentials, and using that, getting, trying to angle for advanced access to it, and then going out and using it as a springboard. Nothing wrong with it, nope. but unusual, and it will make Hillary Clinton crazy, because and, it's the kind of thing yeah. that just feeds her worst and fear that about iron, how what's going to happen. About that iron triangle. Look, we saw, we talked about this last week. You've already seen, correct the record, the group that defends Hillary Clinton, even before she was a candidate. Hillary Clinton herself and her statement up in New Hampshire and John Podesta uh, all saying basically these are old recycled stories from discredited and partisan attackers. We're going to see this cycle again and again. For all of us, really, for these news organizations and for us, the proof should be in the pudding. If there's good reporting here, if there's stuff that's worth telling the public about Hillary Clinton, we should do it. And we shouldn't we shouldn't publish partisan screeds, and we shouldn't let Hillary Clinton and her people intimidate us right. from reporting the news. Yes, and at the bottom, we both know there is the problem with all of this is that there is a kernel of truth in her paranoia, which is that she does in fact get tougher coverage.